what's going on everybody it's your boy spencer taking a look at the new galaxy i support and well you'll see it here in a second it's not de technically on the screen yet i don't think all of the cards are good in fact i think most of them are not very good there's a couple pieces of support that i think make this deck a lot better and i not to say that the cards are terrible but i kind of see them more as win now cards and i'll show you what i've done with the deck obviously like most people play with horus now which is a really good idea because there's a ton of synergy which i'll showcase here when you have Amnesty and Photon Jumper in your opening, it's obviously like a really good start to the match because you're going to be able to get the Sarcophagus. You're going to be able to draw an additional card. It doesn't really matter what it is, especially in this case, what's in my hand here. But it also triggers the Photon Jumper. So you're just like plussing like crazy. So I can get me Galaxy 100. I actually don't need the Galaxy Zero at all. It's like an extra card in hand. And then I run Light Hand Traps, which I'll explain a little bit later. But, you know, of course, like this card specifically is good anyways, because if your opponent Ashes, you kind of have that answer. All right, so, you know, you can use the Sarcophagus to send another copy there, and then you can start your special summoning. Now, the new cards make this insanely better. Like, you get to start off on such a high advantage off of not even using your normal summon. So when this card is special summon, it lets you add a, I think it's a Galaxy or a Tachyon card, and this is a Galaxy Tachyon card. If you control a Dragon XYZ monster, you can special summon it. And when it's special summon, yes, it finally gets to search literally one of the best like counter traps in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't think that's crazy to say. It's an Omni Negate that negates everything in the chain. If you activate it and higher in a chain or just at the end of the day, it's a counter trap Omni Negate that can be activated from the hand, which is just so cool. So you can go ahead and send the last piece. And then obviously before you do that, you're going to detach two cards and then you can go into the Tachyon. So now this is online. You have an Omni Negate right here, which is so good. And now you can bring out the last level eight. You haven't been locked in anything, so you can go into the Photon Lord as well. Now you can go ahead and normal summon the Galaxy Summer. You can bring back the Jumper. I can activate Galaxy 100. You can play this actually kind of like a little bit different and get a little bit more advantage off of it. This lets any card, or lets you target a light monster, not any card, and turn it into a level four. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to overlay and go into my Galaxy Photon Dragon. That's going to search me a Galaxy or a Photon card. It's absurd that there's so many searchers in this deck now. You can go ahead and Normal Summon. I do get that extra Normal Summon from the Photon Emperor. And that lets me go into the Utopic Sage, which, of course, is going to bring out the ZS. And that's going to help me go into my Utopia Engine. So I can go ahead and detach a couple cards there, go into F-Zero, and then, you know, finish things off with the Utopia Engine. So that's going to search me the rank up magic utopia force you can overlay on top and then you get to you know special summon the number 99 and bring out a guy so the first one i'm going to bring out obviously is going to be hope harbinger this is a spell negate it doesn't need any material which is very important and then during my opponent's turn you know i can go into number 23 lancelot this is an omni negate i think it's really important to play it trades so now you have two cards that essentially trade with anything which I think is really cool because you have a monster, two monster negates and a spell negate. Like you want to have that answer, like maybe for like evenly matched or something like that. Um, I, I think this card is so worth playing, but I've talked about that a lot. And then obviously when you attach that material, you're going to, you know, trigger a couple cards, or at least you're going to trigger photon jumper. And then also your photon Lord can also, you know, get you another card. So you're just getting all of these like cards for advantage. Like the sarcophagus, I guess is technically still online, right? You can't be beaten by, you know, Dark Ruler no more, which is really cool. Um, so it's just like, like a pretty good end board, I would like to say. Uh, but if you don't see the Horus cards, it's not the end of the world. You can still play. In fact, this kind of looks like a weird opening. But like with the new support, like the sky is kind of the limit, I guess. So you can go for Galaxy Soldier. That's going to search you. And I do run all lights for that specific reason. Like Effect Veiler, the Star Destroying Kaiju, the Cyframe Gear Gamma. They're all lights that can be pitched off a Galaxy Soldier. You know, Photon Orbital can now search me a Photon or a Galaxy card. Because you, you want to be able to use the effect to bring something back, right? Every level four counts. So I can go ahead and Normal Summon there. And that's going to turn this into a level four, which is really important. So now I can change that into a Photon Dragon. This can search me the new card. Again, this card is just so, so good. Uh, Galaxy 100 can, you know, give me the Photon Emperor to the graveyard. That gives me a level 8, which is really nice because now I can special summon this, search out the Transmigration, and suddenly this big, giant Omni Negate is online. Also, this card is just, like, good, like, in terms of battling, too, right? So now I have that extra normal summon. I can bring out the D Photon Delta Wing, special summon the ZS, and then go through the engine just like that. So, yes, I am missing a few forms of interruption here, but it is still going to be a very good end board where I have F0, like before, like it's just cool to see the evolution of this deck, I guess. It's just like making two like rank eights used to be really cool. Like back in the day when I first started playing like a few years ago. 
and now like suddenly i have like these just like monstrous boards where you know you're gonna have four forms of interruption on a hand that doesn't even see like horus cards when that's normally like a really important part of it so two omni negates with the lancelot uh the tachyon dragon i have hope harbinger and a monster negate so very evenly spread out in terms of the interruption and of course like again you don't lose to like some like really big cards and important cards uh, okay so this is the last one again like if you just straight up open sarcophagus that is also good and it's also like you know emperor i feel like normally is kind of bad in your hand but with sarcophagus it's like really not a problem you can send the amnesty then of course that's going to trigger i'm going to grab galaxy zero i don't need the galaxy hundred this time because i did open the emperor so you can kind of just adjust your hand i guess for like whatever you really need i'm going to send another body and that's going to trigger you know the photon emperor since i control that light in the graveyard and then now I can, again, do this combo, like being able to, it's just like amazing <laughs> to be able to do this without, you know, triggering Nibiru. Like there's very, not a lot of like XYZ decks. I feel like that can do this, to be honest, playing them around Nibiru is like really hard, obviously for com like combo decks. And I can bring out the Tachyon. I still haven't brought out like, I think like two of the names, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't even know if I end up bringing the other one out. I can go ahead and normal summon there, bring out the jumper, you know, overlay, go into the photon dragon. Grab myself a Delta Wing. I do have the extra normal summon. There's like almost always a way to get the Photon Emperor. And you just get so many level four bodies. I had searched the Galaxy Zero earlier. So that really worked out for me. So I can go into the F-Zero package. I'm going to end on the same board as the first one. You know, same end board, but I kind of get there uh, in a different way. But again, I think if you're playing Galaxy Eyes, like you can't be too mad and like yeah the new support is like actually kind of nuts i don't know if i'll ever use any of the other cards the other color people say is populous i feel like it's just like straight up wrong to be honest it's like not half as good as populous because it doesn't like you have to attribute it to add cards and like special summon so it, most of the cards don't really have great effects on special summon like you can just straight up search you know your tachyon primal but you know the tachyon primal card and obviously like this nude the drag Luxian, are like amazing and you can see what they do to the end board they make them like noticeably better like having transmigration now is so funny it's so cool to be able to use this like amazing card uh that is like part of the galaxy as archetype but like really hasn't been until now but let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below other than that's going to do it for today's video and i will see you guys next time